When sending out emails for our business, we want to make sure that we always land in the inbox and never in the spam folder. Today I'm going to show you exactly how that works in a few simple steps and how you can also automate your email warm-up. The whole process only takes a few minutes and is fully automated. So let's jump right into it. To automate our warm-up process, we are going to use a tool called instantly.ai. If you don't have an Instantly account yet, go to the link in the description so you get a 14-day free trial. It should be totally enough to warm up your emails. So if you do everything right, this whole process doesn't cost you a single cent. What Instantly does is it puts you into a warm-up pool with other accounts and it will automatically increase the amount of emails sent between your accounts and other accounts in the warm-up pool. It will also automatically reply to emails and if one of the emails land into the spam folder it will automatically take out your email from the spam folder to tell Google or Microsoft that this is not spam. By doing this constantly over two weeks Google or Microsoft whoever is your email provider will understand that your emails are not to be counted as spam so your emails will start landing in the inbox. After we have created our instantly.ai account you need to also set up your domain and your email addresses and connect them to instantly. If you didn't do so yet Check out the video which I have linked right here where I show you exactly step by step how you can integrate your accounts with instantly.ai. When you have added your accounts to instantly.ai you should see something like this. And as you can see I have added many many email accounts so I can send out more than 500 emails per day. If you want to send 1000 or more emails per day you simply add more accounts because the beautiful thing about instantly.ai is it doesn't cost you anything to add more accounts and you can add unlimited accounts with one single plan. I will now show you the warm-up settings which made it possible for me to, for every email to land in the inbox. This is different from the suggested settings and I figured out that this is a way better way to warm up your emails and I will show you exactly how it's done so you can do the same. For this purpose we are going to go into this account and we are going over to settings. Then we are scrolling down. The first thing you are going to do is to add your custom tracking domain. If you don't know how that works, watch the video which we just put out recently and I will link it again down in the description. We are going to check the status of the custom tracking domain and everything is verified and fine. Now we are going to the important part which is the warm up settings. Here you can see some suggested settings from instantly but this is not going to work. We have to change a few things here to make an optimal warm up process possible. So the increase per day we will change it to three. This means you will send out three emails today, six tomorrow, nine the other day, and so on. The daily warm-up limit, this is very important, needs to be increased to 50. Why is that? Otherwise, when it reaches 20 emails per day, it will stop increasing the amount. So you will not never warm up your account to 50 emails per day, and this is exactly what we want. I figured out that the reply rate of 40% works even a little bit better so we are going to set this to 40. After that we are going to enable the read emulation and we are going to enable warm up for custom tracking domain. We are not going to enable the weekdays only because this gives us two more days per week where we can warm up our emails. As soon as your warm up period is done you are going to change those settings to 30. So you have a daily campaign limit where you send cold emails from which is a max of 30 per account and you are going to change your daily warm-up limit to 20. Why is that? We always want to make sure that we have a mix of warm-up emails and cold emails which we are sending out from each account so we don't land in the spam folder. In this case we are going to set this to 20 warm-up emails and 30 cold emails but this is only important after two weeks when your email account is warmed up. So for now we are going to leave this at 50 and we are going to change this to 30. Now we are going to hit save. In the last step we also make, have to make sure that the warm up is enabled and if we see a grey flame icon here we just need to click on it and we have just enabled the warm up period for this email address. We can do the same with all other email addresses and I will show you one more trick how you can increase the speed of setting this up. If you have added multiple email addresses like I did, you can simply click on this icon, click this box to mark all your accounts, click on bulk settings and then you can set up everything we just did in this setting window and save it down below. Then all the settings will apply to all your email addresses in the account so you don't need to do the settings for each individual account separately. If this video was helpful for you, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel and I see you in the next one.